Hey guys! In this video I'm gonna show you some cool features of Simatic Notifier on Mindsphere. This video will describe the fanciest feature of Notifier. Turning a smartphone into your personal notification cockpit. Sounds fancy, huh? Here's how it's done. First, download the Notifier client from the App Store. By the way, the Notifier client app as of today is available for iOS and Android smartphones. Simply type Notifier and you will find what you're looking for. Install, open and there we are. If the app opens for the first time, it offers to set an application password, but I will skip this step. Next is to set up the connection to the Notifier server. It is possible setting up a connection to Notifier server for Windows or Notifier for Mindsphere or Notifier for Industrial Edge. Therefore, you have to ensure the smartphone is connected to the correct network or to the internet. In respect to that, I think it's clear why we can only set up one connection at once. For connections to Mindsphere, you will be asked to enter your tenant name. That is, by the way, the first part of the URL you enter on your browser to access your Mindsphere tenant. I will connect to the Digidemo tenant. Business as usual. Log in with your personal Mindsphere credentials. Just give me one second. There we are. Make sure that Notifier is allowed to send notifications to your smartphone. I know this sounds confusing at this point, but this ensures that notifications from Mindsphere are displayed on the lock screen of your smartphones once the app runs in the background. And here we are. These are all active notifications, including warnings, alerts and information. This one is a warning that was sent from Performance Insight because the cycle time of a process is above the predefined limit. If I now click the Accept button, the notification will be assigned to my responsibility. This and all other notifications I will take care of by myself are shown in the tab Assigned. As long as notifications are active, they will be displayed in the app. Active, by the way, means that the trigger value is still beyond or above the limit. Back in the overview, Assigned Notifications change the icon, by the way. To filter and sort the notifications, the list settings offer to filter for notification types and sort for appearance and resolved status. This helps to get a faster overview on critical actions after the shift change of technicians or for general prioritization. The last thing that I want to show you is the voice-based notification option. Once activated, it reads out the latest notification loudly like a walkie-talkie. And that's Notifier. Smart notification directly in your pockets. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.